Designed, manufactured, and patented in the USA, Ancorp's high vacuum ball valve is the leader in the industry. Yet, there are wearable internal components that require replacement at some frequency depending on your specific application. This guide applies to the C, D, E, and F series of high vacuum ball valves and will show you how to disassemble and reassemble the valve and its components. Before proceeding, make sure that your valve has XL stamped on the top of the valve body and on the stem. If you do not see these markings, you have a legacy valve and you will need to use other instructions and parts. Verify that all parts are included in your kit. You should have two Teflon seats, two body O-rings, one stem O-ring, one nylon jam nut, and one lower peak bearing. Exercise proper safety and cleanliness measures to avoid contaminating the internal components of the valve and to protect yourself. First, begin maintenance by removing the handle and the handle stop. Next, remove the body bolts. Lift off the top end cap, removing and discarding the top body seat and o-ring. Remove the ball from the body and set aside in a clean area. Then, discard the other Teflon seat and body o-ring. Unscrew the nylon jam nut and remove the upper peak bearing. Next, remove the stem o-ring. You can push the stem down and back up to expose the o-ring for easy removal. Remove the stem by pushing down and take off the lower peak bearing. Begin reassembly by placing the new lower peak bearing onto the stem and inserting through the body. Place a new, generously lubricated stem o-ring onto the stem, followed by the upper peak bearing. Make sure that the flat side of the peak bearing is facing up and pushed down completely into the body. Tighten a new nylon jam nut down to the peak bearing using a crescent wrench to hold the stem. Leave loose enough to finish tightening with a torque wrench. Use a torque wrench to finish tightening the stem. Position an end cap with the flange facing down onto a clean table and place a lightly greased body o-ring and teflon seat on top of the end cap. Next. Place the valve body on top of the end cap, positioned so that the vacuum arrow is pointing up. Then insert the ball with the evacuation hole facing up. Place the other lightly greased Teflon seat and body o-ring onto the valve body, followed by the other end cap. Secure the body bolts to the valve by hand. Tighten the secured body bolts evenly in a diagonal pattern until no gap is present to ensure even compression of sealed materials. Secure the stem stop and handle using a wrench to finish tightening the bolt. After your valve is assembled, cycle the valve three to five times to ensure the Teflon seats form correctly around the ball. Finally, perform a leak check on the valve. If it passes, your valve is ready to go back to work. For more information on maintaining your ball valve, visit ancorp.com to speak with a ball valve specialist and to view our maintenance instruction sheets.